In patients that present with CAD, they run a, a large spectrum of presentations. We have patients that present with what we call acute closure of an artery, and these are patients that may have been feeling fine otherwise and then quickly develop a blockage in one of the arteries that leads to a heart attack. And these patients may present with sudden onset of shortness of breath, chest pain or pressure that um, feels you know, like, like something bad is going on. These patients will then uh, be directed to the emergency room where they'll, they'll quickly get an EKG and then we'll make a diagnosis that they are having a heart attack. In these folks, um, time is of the essence. And so we try to get the artery that is blocked open, typically within 90 minutes of them presenting to the emergency room. The other end of the spectrum of CAD would be patients who have stable blockages. And these are patients that may, may have blockages that are in the 70 to 90% range. And they may present with exertional symptoms like shortness of breath when they're walking or chest discomfort when they're performing certain activities. And these patients will typically present to their family care doctor where they, they may require uh, them to undergo a stress test and then the diagnosis is made. There is a group of patients with CAD who have silent blockages and these patients are at great risk because they don't know that they are, they're having blockages. And these are often detected with the family doctor or the cardiologist ordering stress tests to help determine whether someone does or doesn't have a blockage.